as literacy increases and people's purchasing power rises, their need for information and the demand for knowledge tending further. And India has also shown that all media uh, can coexist, print, electronic and um, your uh, new media that is websites and the social media. So I think it's a great prospect ahead for the Indian media. Well, you know, media has always been a fairly big industry, maybe not so much in terms of its uh, actual turnover, but in terms of influence and impact. And as uh, business booms and India, uh, which is still regarded as an emerging economy, becomes a developed economy, which will happen in the next 20 years, definitely the media industry in India, particularly television, uh, the internet media, social media, along with print, I think they all together uh, will form a major kind of pillar of Indian industry. It is definitely on its way to becoming from a medium-sized industry to a big industry. You know, both things are important. Just as in, science, in the sciences, whether it's chemistry or physics, see, without theory, the practicals have no meaning. And without practice, theory is meaningless. So this is an interrelationship, there is an interrelationship interdependence. You must know the theory, you must for instance know the laws, you must know the constitution, you must know all these aspects about political science, about history, sociology, and, and also you must uh, go out on the streets, go to villages, go to factories, and learn about what is going on there. So you must mix the two. One is meaningless without the other. It is, I think, a very, very important coexistence that is needed. But yes, practice is, uh, as they say, makes one perfect. And therefore, I think the um, practical part, which was earlier often ignored by media institutions, is becoming more and more important till we reach the correct balance between the two. Yes, in a sense, you see, you must first know the theory and then go for the practice. Without understanding, without understanding, as I said, laws, the constitution, history, sociology, uh, you cannot, you see, whatever facts you gather on the street, you may not be able to put them together, process them and put them across or communicate in an intelligent manner. So you need to understand the theory and then also have practical knowledge, sound sense, you must discover your sources, you must pursue your sources and then make a complete kind of report or project on that basis. Well, I have always had respect for the EN School of Mass Communication. Our old institution, the Pioneer Media School, is associated with the EN School of Mass Communication. You have done very well, your students have been very well placed and I see a great future ahead for the EN School of Mass Communication. Because today, the market is very competitive. There are many, many media schools. So only those who provide quality education and quality practical training, only students of those institutions are going to really rise. And I'm, I can see that Ian is very much on its way to being one of the foremost media institutions. So I would offer my best wishes to every student, past, present and future of the Ian School of Mass Communication. Well, I can only say that media is growing. Yan is a very good school uh, and I think they are giving just the right kind of training and preparing students to hit the job market running. When you hit the job market running, I mean the all ready products, which I am afraid many media schools don't produce. So uh, Yan is producing students who are absolutely ready to walk into any job and therefore you must really be confident and work very hard in the days to come in the face of this intense competition in the media field, but Ian students are very well placed to take on the rest of the competition. So keep faith and work hard.